Welcome back to the show, everybody. We got some headlines for you today. El Salvador, the NBA, Football League and Flair, Crypto.com takeover, New Jersey Bank offering Bitcoin and Ethereum, and you won't believe who that's through and who it's to. Bank of England sinking partner with international counterparts, and we'll tell you why. Former U.S. Treasurer now at Ripple. That's right. We're talking about Rosie Reyes, and she's going to tell you why she joined Ripple. All that and more. Somebody roll that beautiful intro. This is Digital Perspectives with Brad Kimes. Subscribe for new content notifications. Now, here's Brad Kimes. Come on in. Welcome back to the show, everybody. You can follow me on Twitter at BackupBradleyAbove and everything that we're talking about here today. Make sure you give us a follow on Facebook, Digital Perspectives News, all one spa- all one word, Digital Perspectives News. We've got a great content creator helping us out on that page, and she is fantastic. And you're going to love the exclusive content that is on that page, and it is exclusive. Make sure you check it out. All right, right here, plus all our videos are there. You can watch it all in one place. Right now, crypto market is $2.287 trillion market cap. Right now, the market is up 1.39%, but that's not what we're excited about today. Bitcoin, $48,847 and change. Ethereum is back at $4,000 flat and change. We see Solana right now is $185.33. Cardano is $1.34. XRP is $0.94, but look at this. 6.64 6.64 is where we're at right now. 6.64 on the 24 hour. And we're looking at 20 plus percent on the seven day for XRP. That's right. One year and one day into the case with the SEC. And you can't hold us down, but so far. And imagine what will happen when this case is actually resolved to the price, not only of Ripple private equity stock, but imagine what will happen to the price of XRP as well. You can get Ripple Private Equity at link2.com. And here it is right here. And if you do, make sure you purchase it through your Uphold wallet. Because if you do, you will get $1,500 worth of XRP put back in your wallet. This is a show of support that they believe at Link2 that XRP is a currency used to buy private equity on their platform at link2.com. So whether you're buying Uphold, Ripple, or Kraken, or the many other products they have, Abra, and all the other great products that they have on there, make sure you check them out. BitPay just recently added as well, by the way, telling you some really great products there. Purchase from your Uphold wallet, get a minimum of $1,000 XRP, $1,500 XRP back in your wallet if you buy through that to their platform. That's wonderful. Love those guys. So, Look right here. El Salvador buys 21 Bitcoin to celebrate December 21st, 2021. I tell you, these guys are all in down there, but we'll have to see how this goes because that, you know, for a payment system and a currency has got a lot to be worked out yet. But take a look at the next few pieces of news we're about to see here. I'm telling you, there is a huge rollout for mass adoption happening right before our eyes, right before the Christmas holiday and right before the Super Bowl here in the United States as well. The National Basketball Association, NBA, not Super Bowl, but nevertheless, NBA, huge league. Kevin Durant, huge star, massive athlete there in that league, has entered a new deal with U.S.-based crypto exchange Coinbase to become the face of the brand. And it doesn't stop there. I Trust Capital is now on National Network. Look at this. I don't want to play the music because it might be, you know, copyrighted music, but Roth IRA, Crypto IRA, SEP IRA, I Trust Capital, baby. Link in the description and comment section for you to get the best deal for that. If you fund your account right now, you get $100 worth of Bitcoin put in there. And there's no monthly fees. Take a look at this. I mean, all of this is happening across the world because now we're going across the other side of the pond. This is Flair working with the national or working with the football league over there to put together a decentralized autonomous organization for peer to peer uh, action 
for, uh, yeah, yeah, let me see how they wrote this here so I don't mess it up. Flare blockchain that is set up to empower non-programmable networks with smart contracts, secure a unique partnership with pioneering sports leagues controlled by enthusiasts. Fan-controlled football league is how they refer to that. And if you come down here, it scored a partnership with Flare, and it will support the uh, V1.0 release of fan-controlled uh was it? How's it? What is it called there? Yeah, f fan control football. So excuse me there. So their uh, next season uh, FCF will continue to capture the most crucial moments when it creates season 2.0 play to earn NFT drops. This is where everything is going to. You know, we we talk about it, but you're seeing it to have control over the league in a peer to peer manner. This is just some of how you're seeing the integration of crypto, smart contracts, decentralized autonomous organizations being brought together in one ubiquitous experience. And here, take a look at this. Singapore-based crypto asset exchange, Crypto.com, which seems to be everywhere. I just showed you how they were on the side of the resorts world in Las Vegas. <clears throat> Excuse me. And here we see a multi-year deal with the Los Angeles Angel City Football Club. Take a look at that. I'm telling you, what else are we seeing here? We're seeing the rollout of marketing, I believe, that is about to become an offering through the banking system, not just crypto exchanges. This is a very key point here. You may feel like hearing this, Brad, what's the big deal here? The big deal is, is that we're about to have a lot more money in this space. And it's not speculators. It's not prospectors like you and I are. And we've all been in this space for years together. No, no, no. We're about to have new faces and new money come into this space because this rollout that I'm showing you over the last several pieces of information here are really showing me that this is about really normalizing to the masses because they're going to go to their bank and get it. Don't believe it? It's still true. Manasakwin Bank will be making cryptocurrency access simple, approachable with BACT. Who owns BACT? ICE, Internet, Intercontinental Exchange. Who owns or what is the Intercontinental Exchange? It is the parent company of the New York Stock Exchange. That's right. Backed is the crypto platform of the New York Stock Exchange parent company. How about that one? Once effective, clients will be able to buy, sell, and hold cryptocurrency from their secure mobile banking app as a part of Backed's early adopter program. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, I'm telling you, this is the sign that you wanted to see that the banks are going to roll this out. It is happening in New Jersey at Manasauquin Bank. Don't believe it. It's still true because it says it right here. I'm telling you, this is the sign that we're all looking for. And it's only going to begin to steamroll and tidal wave from here. This is going to turn into a tsunami of money just pouring into this space. And Bank of England understands this, and not just in the United States, because now we go back over to the pond again, and we see globally they understand this too. They're seeking to partner with its international counterparts to put in place stricter regulation for cryptocurrencies. But listen to why they were, are, are interested in this. It's not because they don't want crypto. It's because they know that 2.3 million Britons own cryptocurrency already. And they go on to say that they believe the rise in exposure to retail investors. And by the way, the backed and Manasaquin Bank is for retail clients, not just institutional like we normally see. So this is beyond institutional. This is going for retail in America. And Bank of England wants stricter cooperation because they understand that 2.3 million Britons already currently own crypto. And that number is about to get even bigger. 
Bank of England believes that the rise in exposure to retail investors' interest in institutional holders could push this much higher in the near future. Therefore, regulating this industry is critical for the Bank of England. Uh, if someone had to borrow money against or for some institutional investors are holding that in their portfolios, that's when you can get the kind of knock-on effects that matter to us as financial stability authority, she said. The closer those assets get to the core of the financial system, the more likely those knock-on effects are likely to be material. Basically telling you, this is a very real asset class. This is the Bank of England recognizing that. And they understand that as this grows with retail investors and institutions, this will become a part of the financial core and framework and the stability and the systemicness of it all will be very relevant to the entire financial system. This is the one and only Rosie Rios right here, former U.S. Treasurer, joined Ripple's board, and I'm telling you, she's going to tell you why she joined there, and you're going to get it. And this is another thing I point out all the time, and I'm going to do it really quickly here. Rosie Rios is from the Treasury. Michael S. Barr back in 2015 was at Ripple, and he was from the Treasury. Craig Phillips was from the Treasury and was at Ripple. Then we saw Susan Friedman, who is still there and on the Digital Pound Foundation and at Ripple, from the Treasury. You know, this is not a mistake why they have acquired these particular people along the journey of Ripple's growth and XRP's adoption. Because they know that the path was for XRP to ultimately be a currency, and I believe that it will be in the end after this case is over. She says it's already left the station if you're trying to get into crypto. <clears throat> but let me take you down to this part here that gets me. Because she talks about what's going on here, and let me get right to it. For her, she means understanding uh, how it can be used. If you're going to get into a project, you got to know that it's got some actual use case, right? And some reason for existing. And she says here that uh, whether it can save your real world time or money, that's the main reason she joined Ripple's board, says it's cryptocurrency XRP advertises the ability to facilitate cross-border payments faster and cheaper than traditional foreign exchange services. This is the 43rd U.S. Treasurer, a board member of Ripple, telling you it is better than the current services on the foreign exchange markets. It's not just the future, Rio says. It's already being used all over the world. And that's exactly right. Crucially, Rios hopes that 2022 will provide more regulatory clarity for the crypto market. In November, a group of retail re regulators, excuse me, including the U.S. Federal Reserve, said that lawmakers plan to offer more clarity on how banks and other large financial institutions will be allowed to handle cryptocurrency next year. And they have. They have greenlighted cryptocurrencies to be held, hold, or be bought and sold and held for reserves and surplus of stable coins and for federally chartered banks to have a node on the networks. So this is really getting big. The need for clarity extends to Ripple, which is locked in an ongoing lawsuit, which we all know, over whether XRP cryptocurrency is a virtual currency or security. The latter classification will require far, uh, fall under more intense regulatory scrutiny. Regulations aside, the crypto market seems likely to keep growing next year after topping $3 trillion in total value for the first time in November. Major companies in, like Microsoft, PayPal, and even Burger King already accept cryptocurrency in some forms. Others have already announced plans. Movie theater chains AMC say it will accept Bitcoin as a payment for movie tickets soon. WhatsApp says it's testing a new crypto payments feature. Rio says she's very hopeful that more big players will follow suit in 22 or at least have the right mindset to begin these conversations and hopefully provide a path moving forward. And that's exactly what we've been seeing. Now let's get to price here. Because we have some people saying market bets on Ripple and XRP continue to drive XRP back towards a dollar, which is where we're headed right now. But let's look at long term because Dark Defender, the technical analyst here, says, you know what? Not financial advice from me or anyone else and certainly not financial advice from myself. But I can tell you right here, ultimately, we're looking for that $20 mark, baby. 
Yeah, we want that dollar. There's no doubt about it. But target within a year, looking right here. We're looking about 20 bucks, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we're looking at. Wave three can jump up to these three Fib Fibonacci levels. Technically, if you look wave three right here, just like that. That's what you're looking at. We discussed XRP was oversold in daily charts, and you can see the betterment over the weekly with the green candle. RSI found a support in the weekly. You can see right here, found support, right? And hopefully we get right above that break, and there's lots of headroom to grow here for it in the, in the uh, relative strength index. And down here, even awaiting a buy signal in the weekly is pending, and you can see that dip looks pretty good for us to get a buy signal like we see down in here or even down in this area. And that would be great to kick things off. It looks like we're moving into next year looking for that $20 mark. But I don't mind. I'm here for the case to end anyway. I'm here for legislation to be passed. I'm also here waiting for the IPO for Ripple once those things are out of the way. And imagine what the price will be then. That's going to do it for me. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe. Leave a comment below. We're up 20.54% on the seven day, ladies and gentlemen. Who's upset about that? One year, one day into this lawsuit, and they can't stop us, won't stop us. Matter of fact, how about John Deaton? Make a call to action. Go to Joe Rogan's page, hit the contact button, and ask him to get John Deaton on there to represent all the XRP holders. Let's really get our voice heard. Let's finish strong, ladies and gentlemen. Finish very strong. We don't have that much longer to go. This case will soon end. It may the latest is what we're hearing from the legal Hogan team or, or legal brief Hogan team. So let's keep ourselves focused and let's keep the pressure on. We can do this. I'll catch all of you on the next one.